What's up everyone? This is Liam from Hashtag Breaking Records Fitness here. Uh, we'd like to welcome you guys to our tutorial guide on how to use our online bookings website um, system. So which is bookwen.com forward slash breaking records dash fitness. OK, so to get access to the Internet with your computer, tablet, laptop or simply your mobile phone, this is the web address you need to um, put in, which is highlighted on the screen. And once you um, select that to press enter, you will find our bookings website detailed um, on your screen itself with our logo at the top, along with the um, detailed uh, description at the bottom there, welcome you guys to our booking page for all of our services. Uh, we've got a couple of links there available. One is the tutorial videos that we've got a playlist available for you to view, including this uh, video that you're watching right now. And also we've got our terms and conditions that's detailed on our website for you to view. That's um, things like liability waiver, disclaimer, refund policy, etc. So you can view that on there any time. And it also will appear for when you come to um, book in online as well. So if you need, ever need to um, get in touch with us, you just need to contact us via email and office mobile number provided and we'll be happy enough to assist you further or any questions you guys may have. So scrolling down from my screen on the left hand side, just as demonstration. OK, folks, so we've got different classes that are available for you to book. And from there on the right hand side will be basically the class that is um, already been selected of what it is when the class is taking place date and time the venue that is situated at and the spaces are available so the information um below it it will just basically be the details of what the class is all about the instructions on regards to the park you form we will contact you if you're a new customer or that you haven't been with us for the past 12 to 24 months and then the tickets basically will be of when it's available for you to book it up until the time frame window period. Um, the late booking normal on there will be from when you can actually book it from to and from basically. So if I want to select a different fitness class, I go to the left hand side of my screen. And that I will then simply um, have this um, selected different fitness class appear on the right hand side. Um, but it would be a different um, date and time there with a different venue and some spaces available. And then you've got the details that are different. Same instructions with different uh, type of tickets that are available of when the time frame window period you can actually book it up until as well. So for this purpose of the uh, tutorial video is that I'm going to use supple strength just as a prime example. Just to book in, I select the button here to add the ticket in. If I want more tickets in, I use the plus sign button. Or if I use the minus sign here to remove some tickets, I can do that like so. So if I go to view selections. And from there, folks, is that you're going to have the selected items of what classes you've booked in for. And then from there, folks, is that um, if you need to enter the discount code, for having some money off or simply getting a free session. Okay, so I need to enter this discount code section here. So I'm going to use that just as a prime example, just to apply. So from there, that will give me a free session straight away. So what I do from there, folks, is that um, I enter my details in, which I'll show you guys in a moment. But once you enter that and simply agree to our terms and conditions, you'll then get a email confirmation of our booking, um, which it will be sent to you directly to your email address with all the details and information there provided. But for now, I will then delete the code just for this purpose. And I'll go to the book now bit here just so that you guys can see how to pay and all sorts. So on here, it will be the book of details with your email address. So I'm going to use mine as a prime example by pressing the continue button. And then from there will be the attendee details of the um, person that's booking in. So I'm going to use me as an example. So give me the saved information that's already on there. So if I want to change attendee um, details on there, I press the change attendee button and that will give me a blank full name, first name, last name, email and phone number in, just so that um, I can actually put in uh, someone else's details in 
or that if you're booking in on with someone else on your behalf, um, that way the, the person some details will be different to the your email address, like say. So the booking details just at the bottom of the screen here is that uh, do you agree to the terms and conditions? You do have to press the um, box here. It's mandatory. They'll give you the link to the terms and conditions that if you need to view that we've already mentioned from before. And if you're happy to proceed, just press the continue button. And then from there, it will give you the payment section. So again, it will give me the class and I'm actually booked in for ready to pay. So if I press pay by card, and from there, it will give me the pay by card um, detail section that's powered by Stripe. So the card number here will be your 16 digit long card number, followed by the month and the year that when the card is actually about to expire, followed by the last three digits of your card um, at the back of your card. And then once you've done all that, on the right hand side of the pay by card bit, basically will come up for you to enter your postcode in. So where the card billing address is situated at, which would be your home address. And once you've basically entered all those details in, you just pay the um, ticket price right on your home screen. So once that's all done, that will basically will give you an email confirmation sent by us directly with all the information there provided. And that is about it, folks. So we just would like to say thanks for getting in touch um, for you to um, view our tutorial website. If you do need to get in touch with us directly, you can simply contact us via email or by mobile number. If you have difficulty of using online access whatsoever, um, you can get someone else on your behalf to do it for you. Or as I said, just get in touch with us um, by email or um, office mobile number. We can try and assist you where possible or alternatively you can pay by card over the phone as another option but only within the time frame window period as suggested that is already uh, mentioned when it comes to booking and stuff so i just like to say folks thanks for watching and i hope you found this useful and we hope to see you booking online and paying straight away very soon